Oh, 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 this tutorial is pre-recorded. Now, today we're going to be doing a bobble in Arnold Render. This is like, I should have been doing more Arnold tutorials, but I haven't got around to it. So I'm just going to be doing something fun today. Hopefully you guys enjoy. I've got something up on the screen that is uh, just a quick render. Obviously, it's got the watermarks on it, whatever. D just ignore that, okay? Uh, the result is what we're going for. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to be kind of focusing on shading. But it is the season of giving, so if you guys are interested, the Landscape Essentials is 45% off until January 15th. So it's just released, um, it includes 58k landscapes of a variety of weathering types. And uh, there's each, each landscape has a texture map, height map, and normal map. And it's on sale, like I said before, for 45% off until January 15th. So make sure you put it in your cart. Go and check out the features as well, but just before you do that, top right, and I'll see you back here. So now that plug's done, go and grab a sphere, um, and we're gonna make it editable. So go into polygon mode, go to the top, and select the top of this. And we're going to drag this up a little bit. And um, I'm not going to be focusing on the model too much, but you know, it's pretty simple. So I'm just going to do a loop selection here with UL. And then we're going to do UP to make it, uh, to cut that bit up there. We can hide the original, go UL and select. We're going to do, um, yeah, UL for loop selection. Select two space, two space until we get to the end. And then we're going to do UI to make an uh, inversion selection here. And then we're just going to delete here. And uh, now we're going to add some uh, cuts. So if I go J um, or KJ, go to plane mode, change that to world, and change the plane to XZ. Select this bit up here. Select, uh, in fact, we're going to do that in a minute. But basically, I'm going to select these points here. So just go around, select all the points. And then after this is done, we're going to drag it up on the Y axis. Go to KG again for a plain cut. We're going to cut here, here, and then right at the bottom, like so. And I'll put this into a subdivision surface and we've got this kind of ribbony looking thing and then uh, if we turn the sphere back on you can't really see it and the way to fix this is to put this into a cloth surface. Put the subdivisions down to one, thickness up to one and the uh, there's some weird edges on here you, you have to go through and fix these manually unfortunately. Basically the way you do this is you can just make this editable or uh, select both the sphere and the cloth surface, connect objects and delete. And then if we go KL, we can get the loop selection and you can select both sides here. And there we go, that's that fixed. But then you have to do that on all the rest of them, so I'm not gonna bother. But um, yeah, also the top is looking a bit weird, but um, basically the way you'd fix that is by not deleting the bit past like here, like this circle here, you went to delete this by doing another plane cut, but since I'm viewing it from down here, uh, I'm not too bothered about that. Uh, and we can also add a torus as well, so just go to our primitives, grab a torus, orientation on Z, drag this up, maybe do like one and a half or something on the pipe radius. Um, and this is a bit that the string will go through. You can just do a spline for that. But um, let's get to actually, in fact, now one thing first. I'm gonna put this into a subdivision surface, the actual bobble itself. I'm gonna hide it for a second and we'll just do some, uh, some loop cuts here. So just do one here, one here. KL for the, uh, the loop selection, by the way. And then there are two up here. You could also bevel if you wanted check that back on and there we have our nice subdivided bobble and let's get to creating the the uh, shader so if I send this to the picture viewer hopefully it doesn't crash and a sky 
and change the sky to a physical one. And there we go. We've got a nice sky here. Uh, if you want to get rid of that black, uh, that black horizon line, you can just mess around with the coordinates until you get get it to work. And then I'm going to go and mess around with the elevation, so I get the sun at the correct angle that I want. So I just kind of have it as like a rim light of sorts. All right, so let's go and create a shader. So we'll go to shader and uh, Arnold surface standard surface drag this onto our bobble we're going to create the bobble texture first so we've got our standard shader already in here and I'm going to go and turn the roughness on the specular up a bit and um, I'm actually going to turn the metalness all the way up um, something like that turn the uh, the weight on the base to one as well and we're going to coat and this basically adds like another kind of layer of sheen which is uh, we're gonna add the glitter to as well um, did I mention there's gonna be glitter kind of excited about that so now just move up the roughness on this to like 0.4 yeah it's looking nice and the IOR I'm gonna move that down basically that just changes how visible, I guess, the uh, how visible from the edges it will be in the extra refraction. Um, to seven ish. Okay. And now what we can do is start adding some color to this. So I'm going to add an IOR complex and I'm going to add some reds because what would Christmas be without uh, red and gold? <laughs> so. The reflectivity, edge tint, uh, we're going to change both those, make sure it's on custom. I'm going to make this one slightly darker, maybe even darker. And then we're going to duplicate this and I'm going to go and select the gold, the standard gold. Click edit, and this will allow us to change the colour. So I'm going to make it a really uh, strong gold. We want a really tacky, gaudy gold. So then I'm going to create a mix RGB and we're just going to put these into the inputs. If they're the wrong way around we can obviously just uh, change them around. But the mix on this is actually going to be a... what do you call it? Uh, it's going to be a picture. So the way you can do this... Um, so if you just look up floral, floral pattern seamless we can get a bunch of nice looking floral patterns for free um, and ideally uh, you want it to be seamless and you also want it to uh, the, the background to be white and the foreground to be black which you can obviously do in Photoshop or Illustrator um, but I've already got one here so I'm just gonna grab this and drag it in so I've got a bunch of them I'm gonna use this one called Alpha, alpha that I just named it Alpha drag this into the mix and then we're going to preview this finally in our color. And you can see that it's working, but it's the wrong, wrong, wrong way, the wrong way around. So I'm going to actually swap these around, have the red as input two and the gold as input one. And now we have the gold as our floral pattern. And I'm actually going to change the UVs a bit. I'm going to scale down the uh, this texture on uh, X it will be so like 1.3 or 1.2 or something like that this bit up here is a bit is a bit too much uh, on the extrusion but it's whatever also um, you might want to change the mode to cubic that might fix that issue up there but projections in Arnold are weird so might not fix it um, and also we're gonna have gold up there anyway so that will distract from the bad projection I don't like how the blacks being like shown there and I'm actually gonna put this back down to one let's see like 0.5 that's way too low Yeah, I think that'll do. 
Okay, and now uh, for the fun part, adding glitter. So um, we're gonna add another mix RGBA, and we're gonna put this into our coat roughness or coat uh, normal and our geometry normal as well. Put this into the mix. Make sure you have the latest version of Arnold. I actually started this tutorial and I wasn't using the latest version. Um, so yeah, that was not good. Um, and it's looking a bit weird at the moment, but it is working, it is projecting onto the bit that we want. You could even make the entire thing glitter, but I just think it makes more sense in this case. You've got to make the scale really small. I turn the density all the way up and I turn the random, the normal randomize down. This is basically strength, just think of it as the strength. Um, but as you can see it adds quite a, quite another level to this of uh, reflectivity. Also IOR, I don't actually remember what that does so I can just mess around with it. It's not doing anything so I just presume that it's not going to be uh, it's probably some option that you can use when you put it into specular or something, but we're not using that. Also step and depth don't do anything uh, in this case when I've just got it plugged into the normal. But um, this can be really good for um, for adding little speckles into gloss textures and stuff like that, but you know, it also works really well for uh, glitter as well. So that's pretty much it for that texture. And now we can just add the gold texture on top and we should be done. So just going to create another standard surface. I might actually just copy over our standard surface here and cheat a little bit. Drag the output into the Arnold Beauty and drag this onto our top bit there. Just going to zoom in on it so we can see all the imperfections. And um, I'm just going to switch this to gold on the preset. And then we're going to bring in flakes because I want to add even more glitter. But this time, it's just going to be all glitter. Nothing's not, uh, no like inch of this is going to be spared. It's just all going to be glitter. So, normal coat and normal geometry. Scale this all the way down. Bring the density up and bring the normal randomness or the strength of the glitter down. Perfect. All right. So there we have it. That is my bobble. Uh, that, that's my, um, that's my Christmas video. Uh, I'm going to turn up the, the samples on the sky. And then for a render setting, I would say probably go with, uh, maybe three on the diffuse, three on the specular. Don't need transform or, or transmission, don't need subsurface and we don't need volume uh, in direct so you can just turn those down to zero. And now it's just tuned through that. Oh, it's already done. Okay, maybe we need to turn it up a bit more or maybe it's just because the reflection's looking weird. Also, there's a seam, there's a seam there. Didn't notice that before. Maybe this texture isn't seamless after all. But um, that is an alright render setting. Maybe the specular is a bit too low on that. Turn that camera A up a bit as well too. Wait for that to run through. I really like how the it, it kind of looks, the floral pattern looks separate because of this glitter. And also maybe the, sc the scale is a bit too high as well. But um, whatever. Whatever, uh, you guys can mess around with that. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Have a great Christmas. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Remember to check out Landscape Essentials. It's the season of giving. Go and check it out. 45% uh, off until January 15th. And I'll see you guys in the next video.